Today we see a defensive incident that is one of the crazier things I've seen that reminds us that you gotta protect you. Hi everyone, welcome to the Active Self Protection Channel. I am so grateful that you're here following along and learning with today's lesson. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Goyas in Brazil. Today's video is brought to us by 360 Hazardous Cleanup, your trusted resource for trauma, biohazard, and environmental cleanup and remediation. Everyday people encounter these unimaginable scenarios of tragedy. We specialize in crime scene and trauma accident cleanup. With over 75 years of combined experience and our compassionate yet professional approach, our teams are able to empower people during these traumatic times. If you're in need of assistance, call us day or night. The news stories I've linked in the description said this woman and this man have not had any interactions. They're just standing in line waiting to check out at this like home goods store. It's gonna look back at her and then turn away. She's like trying to set an appointment on her phone is what the news story said. And he's gonna just, for whatever reason, pick up this huge shopping cart and throw it at her and hit her in the head with it and knocked her unconscious. And you're gonna see at least this other guy's gonna show up and start looking at him. And, and again, she's unconscious. Some other folks are gonna show up. They've sped this up for the sake of time, wasn't me. Um, and eventually this guy is gonna be arrested by the authorities. Thankfully, this woman wasn't badly injured. Um, she ended up being taken to the hospital, checked out and released. The man was just charged with like a minor assault, even though he has seven other cases uh, against him, including attempted murder in a domestic situation. And so, of course, there's a good bit of public outcry here. He said that she called him a slur, that she called him gay, and that's why he attacked her. She completely denies that, and there's nothing to indicate that they had any interactions before his attack. Honest question for you. If you are one of the bystanders here, you see this happen, what do you do? How do you respond? Let me know in the comments, would you? Now I'm operating under the premise here that they haven't had any previous interactions, but you're gonna see here that he is gonna look back at her and take umbrage for whatever reason, right? Now she's on her phone, that's the first thing here. The fact of the matter is that she's on her phone and I get it, we all do that when we're sitting in line and, and, and cooling our jets, right? But make sure that you're paying attention to the world around you, especially the people around you. If I was a betting man, I would say that maybe she just got a little too close to him with her cart and that pissed him off and that he took that as a personal offense. And this guy, we can tell because of the domestic charges against him, of all the other, you know, again, criminal cases against this guy, that he doesn't regulate well and that he takes his actions out in violence, especially against women. He doesn't have any respect for women. Now, of course, that's evil and wrong and we should learn better than that in our society. But ladies, hear me. Uh, just because we should do all those things doesn't keep you any safer. You and only you can protect yourself from this kind of violence. And in order to protect yourself from it, you've got to see it coming. And so don't let all your attention get sucked into your phone. Instead, make sure that you're at least scanning your horizons and paying attention to your world so then that way you can see this kind of stuff coming. Now, of course, she's on her phone here and I don't blame her for that. Now, you can see she kind of sneaks forward a little bit here and tries to kind of like maybe get out of his way like he's grabbing another cart or something like that. But clearly when you see him pick that cart up, something is terribly wrong. This is where in that color code of awareness that we would go from yellow, we know what's going on in our world, to orange. Something is wrong and I need to take steps to better protect myself, right? But but she's kind of on her phone and kind of playing that I don't see you, you don't see me, that, that disinterested game. I'm not paying attention to you so maybe you'll leave me alone. And I get why a lot of women do that, but it is counterproductive here, right? Now, of course, this is heinous and terrible and wrong. And this is absolutely an aggravated assault. Is this an attack highly likely to cause great bodily harm to her, to send her to the hospital, to break bones, to cause her significant disfigurement, loss of use, those kinds of things? The answer to that is yes, it is highly likely to do that. She does get some, uh, you know, uh, uh, some premise of a disparity of force. A man attacking a woman, you know, is generally bigger than her, generally stronger than her. Although our court cases seem to indicate that that women have less chance of claiming self-defense than men and get less opportunity to do that. That's just the reality of things, and that's an unfortunate truth. We need to fix that, uh, of course. And, and again, I know some people are gonna say, okay, wait a minute, how could she respond? Well, she can't respond at all because she's gonna be knocked unconscious, which is why you've got to prevent this kind of attack, keep it from hitting you, not try to respond after the fact, right? So, so evasion was the right answer here. 
Now, of course, once that happens, she's out of the fight. I don't care what kind of tools she has or skill set, she's done. She's knocked out. But now what are you going to do as a bystander here? You see this thing happen. And, and my general rule is to be very cautious as a bystander to step into third party encounters. Because if you don't know exactly what happened, if you don't know all the details of what went down, you weren't standing right behind them, see that they didn't have any of that. He just attacked her out of nowhere. Well, then number one, you could be wrong. Number two, when you put yourself in the middle of somebody else's situation, you do incur some uh, some risk for that. And you better understand that. And you better talk that through with your family ahead of time. But there are some things that I think are so kind of shocking to the conscience that you almost have to step in, right? And and I think this is probably one of them. Uh, and, and at least in my world, it would be. And again, you decide for yourself what the best is for you. Now, I know some folks are going to say, well, John, could I pull up my gun and shoot him if this happened? Well, this is in Brazil. They're probably not going to be carrying guns if they're not police officers still. But, you know, here in the United States, at some point and at some level, um, the answer to that is, again, if he's continuing to attack, it is an imminent threat of death or great bodily harm. And by imminent, we mean, is it happening right now? So it happened a minute ago, but are you protecting her or are you acting punitively in order to punish him for what he did in the past? That's going to be an important part of articulation, man. I saw him hit her. I was sure he was going to attack her again. I drew my gun all in one motion and shot her. You're probably going to be okay with that. At some point here, as it's already happened and he's not a continuing threat to her, then maybe that's going to be less. But certainly I think something like an OC spray or something like that is absolutely a, 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 a totally okay thing. Even after that, you know, hey, wait a minute, man. I was worried he was still in her vicinity. I wasn't sure what he was gonna do, but I was sure she was at risk of being hurt some more. And so I OC sprayed this guy to, you know, get him in a long range eye poke and get rid of him. I think that would be at, at almost any time here, probably an okay thing once the attack has happened out to a certain extent, right? Remember, people are gonna ask, the jury's gonna ask, prosecutor's gonna ask, have you acted reasonably? Now, all these people show up here and kind of everyone is just kind of standing around and you now have four guys around him. And, and I think clearly at this point, the threat has probably passed, but you better communicate amongst yourselves. Are we gonna try to, to contain this guy? Are we gonna try to take him into custody? Are we gonna detain him and do a citizen's arrest? What are we going to do here? And of course, somebody needs to get to this woman and offer her some medical care. Somebody needs to make sure that she's okay, stabilize her, don't, you know, make sure that we're doing our trauma medical. And of course, what does that mean? That means that we have to have not only medical equipment on us, but medical training. And, and I'd say all the time, man, my IFAC, I've used five times in car wrecks. I've never used it for a gunshot wound, but I have used it in car accidents multiple times. Seems like I come across them all the time. That's why I recommend we have something like that. So instead of just standing around and wondering, uh, what do I do? Get some training in some medical care, get your equipment. Of course, we sell them through Mountain Man Medical and the proceeds from that, that would come to ask, go to charity. Now, dude's hecked off. Okay, fine, somebody has called the cops and the cops will eventually come and get him. I wanna remind you here that no amount of punishment is going to bring this woman's health back. No, no, no amount of punishment is going to bring back her sense of security. The only thing that could have done that is for her to have protected herself in the moment. The best way that she could have done that in this case is preventatively to see it coming and not allow the first attack to happen. Once it did, it was very difficult. So let's make sure that we are ready to protect ourselves to cover our ASP.